everybody, Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. 1971 replay, this is August 20th, so I'd say I'm 40 games away from completion of the season. Stats are looking good, they're looking uh, um, very similar to the actual stats for 1971 on the Mets. Remember, I'm just playing the Mets team and um, keeping all the stats. And uh, let's go. It's Padres at New York. It's going to be Clay Kirby, Jerry Kuzman. Kirby's got his C stuff. Kuzman got his A stuff. I rolled for that. Let's go over the lineups for the Padres, Hernandez, Campbell, and Gaston. Then it's uh, cleanup. It's Colbert and Brown and Spezio. And then rounding out the order is Morell, Barton, and Kirby. For the Mets, the home team Mets, it's Harrelson, Garrett, and Jones. Cleanup is Cranepool. And it's A.G. and Boswell and rounding it. Out is uh, Singleton, Grody, and Kuzman. Let's get started. We're going to read the... These are double D6s, by the way. A little bit different than your standard D6. Um, and uh, we're going to read the blue and then the white. And then, of course, the red will tell us the out and some other information when we need it. Let's do this. Here's Jerry Kuzman. He's a left-handed uh, pitcher. And we can even see a little bit of his stats so far. He is... Uh, he struggled this uh, this season. He was 5-8. and eight. In reality, he was six and eleven. Um, except his whip is much higher in the replay than it was in reality, and that's one of the few players that kind of—he's uh, an outlier so far. And I don't know if he can correct this. He's only probably got about five more starts. Here's a pitch, and that's going to be a sixty-five. He does run into a lot of bad rolls. I'll be honest with you. And uh, it's just that seems to happen. Like every time I have a player with. Ton of home runs, and every time he plays, you roll a couple of 66 and 65s for him. And those are home run numbers. So it's just the nature of the beast, and that's an out, and that's popped up in the infield on the right side. First baseman, Cranepool. He's there for two outs, and here's Cito Gaston. He's a right-handed hitter. And that's a 41. That's usually a base on balls, and it is a walk unless it says no on the batter card. And now it's Nate Colbert. He's got good power. He should roll a 66. No, a 46 with a 15. And that's going to be popped up in foul territory. He's a righty, so that's going to go to the right side. And that'll be in foul ground. Cranepool has plenty of room, and that retires the side. No runs, no hits. So walk, one left. We go to the bottom of the first. No score for the Padres, and the Mets come into bat. Play fall classic baseball, Buddy Harrelson. That's a 66, and it's a 17, and that is a drive down the line. Fair ball into the corner, and Harrelson digging for second. He's in there standing up. Lead off double, Harrelson. Buddy Harrelson. Wayne Garrett's next. We're just going to let him swing away here. With a 16 and an out and 11, that'll be grounded a short. And runner will hold on that. Next is Cleon Jones with a 66, and that's going to be a drive over the center fielder's head and hits one hop off the wall. Scoring is Harrelson, and digging for third is Cleon Jones. The relay, the tag, and he is safe with a triple, RBI triple. Here in the first for Cleon Jones. Cranepool. Runner on third, we're bring the infield in for the Padres. Even it's still the first inning, but we're just not going to. Uh, and against a righty, that is bounced up the middle and through. Another run for the Mets. RBI single for Cranepool. And he picks up an RBI there. Put it in a circle. Runner on first, here's Tommy Agee. We're going to try to hit and run. There goes Cranepool, and that's going to be a six, which is Right back to the mound. Only one play. Runner moves to second. Two outs now. With a runner on second. Here's Kenny Boswell. Left-handed hitter. Play from Kirby. That's a 56. That should be a K, and it is, and that ends the inning. But the Mets, they pick up a couple of runs on three hits. So two runs on three hits. One left. We go to the top of the second inning. All right. Um... We're at the bottom of the third inning. Buddy Harrelson single and then still second. And here comes Wayne Garrett against Clay Kirby. Score is 2-0. We're in the bottom of the third here at Shea Stadium in New York, 1971. Uh, Friday. Uh, that's a 63. That's going to be a strikeout. So 
Garrett goes down swinging. One down. Next up is Cleon Jones, who tripled. And that's going to be popped up, foul territory. And this is going to be the first baseman. First baseman, Nate Colbert in foul grounds, has room and makes the catch, two down. And here's Cranepool singled home Cleon Jones in that first inning, where the Mets score two runs, and they're up 2 nothing. Here's the pitch to Cranepool, and that is a fly ball left field. On the run is Morrell, and Morrell runs it down. So no runs, one hit, one left. We move to the top of the fourth. Cito Gaston. And that's going to be a 46 with a 2, and that's a drive to left field, way back, and back goes Jones to the track, looks up, and that's gone. 2-1. to one. Cito Gaston, who hit 17 home runs and 500 at-bats, connects here and brings the Padres within one run of the Mets. 2-1 to one Mets in the top of the fourth. Here's Nate Colbert, another one with a lot of power. Hit 27 home runs. That's a 34, and that's a fly to right. Backing up a couple of steps is uh, Kenny Singleton, and he squeezes it for the out one down. Ollie Brown now. That's a snake, guys, and that's ball four. And Kuzman loses him, doesn't like that. Ollie Brown trots down to first base. Ed Spezio, we try hit and run with Spezio. There goes Brown, and that's a nine, which will be hit and run A. No, that's a pop-up. Shortstop, Harrelson makes the catch, two down. Ivan Morrell now. Here's a pitch, and that is a 12. That'll be bounced uh, right in front of the plate, and Grody pounces on it, fires the first, and that retires the side. One run on one hit. That home run by Cito Gaston, and the score is 2-1. to one. Mets. Tommy Agee leading off the bottom of the fourth against Clay Kirby. That's going to be a 56, and that should be a K, and it is. That's the fourth K of the game for Clay Kirby. Kenny Boswell up next. He struck out in the first inning. Boswell with a 15, and he will fly out this time. Left field, and right there is Morell. Kenny Singleton with two outs. He's a switch hitter, batting from the left side, a 64. And he strikes out. That retires the side, so that's five Ks for Clay Kirby. No runs, no hits. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Two to one, Mets playing fall classic baseball. And here's Bob Barton, catcher. That's a 13, and that's a fly to center. Drifting over is A.G., and he squeezes it for the out. One down. Clay Kirby, the pitcher, and he swings and misses at a Kuzman fastball. Two down. And Enzo Hernandez, who's one for two. He's flat out and single. And a 41 will be a base on balls. So a two-out walk by Kuzman to the leadoff batter, Enzo Hernandez. And Kuzman's not happy about that. Dave Campbell now, right-handed hitter. Here's a pitch, and that is a drive. And that's going to split the outfielders and roll to the wall. Let's see if en Enzo Hernandez can score on this. Yes, he will. He'll come around to score and into second base with an RBI double, tying up the game here with two outs. And the top of the fifth inning is Dave Campbell. Dave Campbell is second baseman for the 1971 San Diego Padres, batted 227 in uh, 365 at bats in 100 games. <clears throat> okay, so run around second base now with two outs. Cito Gaston. Game is tied at two apiece here in the fifth. Jerry Kuzman checks in with Grody for the sign. He sets and deals, and the pitch to Gaston is going to be a 35, and that is a fly ball to right. And near the line is Singleton makes the catch, and that retires the side. One run on one hit. That two-out walk really hurt Kuzman there, and it's all tied at two. We go to the bottom of the fifth. <clears throat> Jerry Kuzman leading it off against Clay Kirby. That's a 13, and that'll be bounced to short. Picked up by Hernandez and throws out Grody. Kuzman's next. Kuzman with a 63, and that's a strikeout. 
Number six for Kirby. Top of the order now for the Mets here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Buddy Harrelson, who's two for two today with a 52 and a 20. That's a error check, and that's to the third baseman, but he makes the play over to first and in time to retire the side. No runs, no hits. We go to the top of the sixth. Third baseman was uh, Spezia. We'll just make sure he doesn't have any outrageous um, error numbers because... Um, He's your third base. He's a five error, and we rolled a 20, so it's highly unlikely that that would be an error. That's why I didn't even bother to look. Uh, Nate Colbert leading off the top of the sixth inning against Kuzman. 2-2 two, two game. And that's a 64. And that's going to be a line out right at second base. So he hits it on the screws, but right at Kenny Boswell at second. Ollie Brown with a 43, and that'll be a bouncer to the third baseman. Picked up by Garrett, throw to first in time, and here's Ed Spezio <clears throat> with a 13, and that'll be a fly ball. Center field on the run is AG, and AG tracks it down. Three up, three down, easy inning for Kuzman. <clears throat> Wayne Garrett leading off the bottom of the six, 2-2 all. That's a snake eyes, and that's going to be a bouncer to second base. Easy play for Campbell. One out. Cleon Jones, he's a right-handed hitter. He's one for two today, and that's going to be a line drive, and it's going to get past the outfielders, and it's going to roll to the wall, digging for second and trying for third. No, he puts on the brakes and gets back to second base to throw the tag, and just under the tag, they almost got him. He was getting... Getting frisky, trying to turn a double into a triple and change his mind. Lucky he did, because he would have been dead to rights at third base. And almost they almost got him a second. So it's a one-out double for Cleon Jones, Eddie Cranepool. And uh, let's see what we're going to do here. You know what? We're going to walk Cranepool intentionally. He's a lefty. Set up the double play. Here's Tommy H. Here's the pitch, and that's a 32, which will be a line out, a line out to the third baseman, and we need a um, a two, three, 12, or 13 for a double play, and we got it. Double play. They turn it. Wow. So it's a line out to third base. He whips it to second, and they surprise Jones. L5, and we're going to four covering at second base. Double play, and we move to the top of the seventh inning. So no runs, one hit, and a big double play. All right, so top of the seventh inning, it's going to be Ivan Morell against Jerry Kuzman. Jerry Kuzman with a good curveball, a 35, and that's a fly ball to center. Ag, one down. Bob Barton is next. He's over two with a couple of flyouts. And a 54, we're going to check a 54 chart, and that's going to be a sky fly, high fly in the infield shortstop. Makes the play. And here is bottom, uh, top of the seventh, Kirby. You know, we're going to let him bat. There's two outs. Nobody on. That's going to be a 45, and that will be a bounce. Nope, popped up. Infield, third base. Makes the catch, and that retires the side. Three up, three down. Go to the uh, bottom of the seventh. Seventh inning stretch. 2-2 two -two ball game. Kenny Boswell leading it off for Clay Kirby. Clay Kirby uh, pitched 36 games, completed 13, so he had quite a season. That's a 52 and a 9. That's an error check on the second baseman, Campbell. Campbell's numbers, oh, they are, they're a 9, so that's going to fall in the range. And this, he throws it over the uh, first baseman's head, and this is going to allow Kenny Boswell to make it to second. So a ground ball that's bobbled, and then he throws it over. The second baseman's head, and it's a two base, uh, first baseman's head, and it's a two base error on Dave Campbell. So we got a runner at second now to go ahead and run here in the bottom of the seventh, and here's Kenny Singleton. 
Kenny Singleton with a 13, and that is, he's batting left. That goes to first, so the runner will advance. I'll put seven there so we know that that batter seven advanced them. Run around third infield in for Jerry Grody. Here's a pitch from Kirby. That's a 25, and that'll be an out. A 10 is a line out to right with the five. So the 10 here takes us here, and that's going to be run around on third tags and scores. So that's a sacrifice fly to, to a right field. Um, and runner scores there. So the Mets have taken a 3-2 to two lead. And it's Jerry Kuzman. And that's a 62, which will be a strikeout, and that ends the inning. So it's going to be an unearned run. So one run on no hits caused by the error on the second baseman, Dave Campbell, and we move to the top of the eighth inning. Let's have a couple of arms warming up in the bullpen. Let me see if I can still get this in here. There we go. All right. A couple of arms warming up in the bullpen for the Mets. Here goes Enzo Hernandez with a 36, and that'll be a fly to right. Under it is Singleton one away. Dave Camp next. It's three to two Mets here in the top of the eighth inning. That's a 44, and that is ripped to center field. And that's a stolen base attempt, and the throw down from Grody, they got him at second base. So that's going to be a 2-4 caught stealing. Two outs now, and here's Cito Gaston. That's done with a 66, and that is way back. This will be his second one of the day. Cito Gaston gets a hold of that Kuzman fastball and drives it into the seats, and the game is tied at three apiece. Here in the top of the eighth inning. And that's 27. He can go 30, so 27, 28, 29, 30. So he still is okay until he gives up another base runner. Here's Nate Colbert. Nobody on. That's a 21, and that'll be a swing and a miss. Struck him out on the curve, and that ends the inning. But the Padres tie it up at three with the solo shot, the second home run of the day for Cito Gaston. Here is uh, Buddy Harrelson leading off the bottom of the eighth inning. Pitch from Kirby. That's a 34, and a 34 will be a ball hit right back to the mound. And he throws out Harrelson. Wayne Garrett next with a 14, and that is bounced to first. And stepping on the bag ahead of Garrett is Colbert. Two outs, and Cleon Jones with a 26, and against the lefty, that's a single. Otherwise, it's a fly ball left. On the run is Murrell, Murrell and Morell tracks it down. That retires the side, three up, three down. Easy inning for Kirby. Letting the, the starters go... You know, but both starters are on the brink of being uh, pulled. Either one gives up a base runner, they get pulled. So let's see what happens. Here, Ali Brown is up. He's 0 for 2 today with a walk, and that's going to be a 13. Bounce to third. And uh, Garrett throws him out. Spezio, he's 0 for 3 with a 64, and that'll be a fly to left. So he's flat out. Put the ball in the air three times. Four times. He's 0 for 4 today. And here comes Ivan Morell, who's 0 for 3. And a 66 and a 1. And that's a deep drive to left field into the corner. And that ball is gone. 4 to 3. Padres home run by Ivan Morell. And here is Bob Barton. 4 to 3, the Padres are up here in the top of the ninth inning. Pitch from, oh, that's going to be, Kuzman's going to get relieved. We're going to bring in Taylor. And that's a 12, and that's an out. Bouncer to second. And uh, we can say Taylor will be an A because we roll that four. And, uh, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. Last leagues for the Mets here at home. 
It's going to be Crane Pool AG and, uh, and Boswell. Now, Clay Kirby had 13 complete games. We're going to see if he'll complete this one. As long as he doesn't give up a base runner, he's good. 4-3. to three. So that was one run on one hit. The Padres have hit three home runs against the Mets. Two by Gaston and one by Morrell. Here's the pitch to Crane Pool. And that's going to be a 36. And a 36 will be a bouncer to second. Picked up by Campbell. And over to first for out number one. Here's... Tommy Agee, who's 0 for 4, and he's going to be a 66, and that is a drive that's going to split the outfield. Is one hop off the wall, played nicely by the center fielder Gaston, and digging for second is Agee ahead of the throw. So that puts the tying run at second base, and that's going to be it for Clay Curry. Okay, we're in the bottom of the ninth. The Padres took the 4-3 lead in the top of the ninth with a solo shot by Ivan Morell against Jerry Kuzman. They lead it 4-3. We're in the bottom of the ninth. Crane pool grounded out against the starter Clay, and then it was Tommy Agee who stroked a double. And Clay was replaced for Kelly, right? Dick Kelly. He's a lefty. And facing Ken Boswell, they decided they were going to pinch hit, and Martinez is going to... Let me see. Martinez is going to bounce one right in front of the plate, and pouncing on it is Barton, who throws him out. This will allow A.G. to make it to third. So two outs, run around third, and here comes Kenny Singleton. Mets are down by a run. The tying run is at third base. Let's see what Singleton can do against Dick Kelly, the lefty. Singleton's a switch hitter, so he's batting right. Here's a pitch. And that's a 24, which will be a 1-4 to four hit by pitch, plus 7. That's an 11 hit by pitch. We roll a 3, and he gets plunked. Kenny Singleton gets plunked. That puts the winning run at first base. So you got first and third, and here comes Jerry Grody. We will allow Jerry Grody to bat. He's a righty. He is over 2 with a sack fly. Here's a pitch from Dick Kelly. Two outs, two on, 4-3. Mets are down. Here's a pitch to Grody. And that's a 25, which will be a fly ball center field. Drifting under it is Gaston, and that's the ball game. The Mets lose it by a score of 4-2-3. Exciting at the end. No runs. One hit, two left. And, uh, and that's all she wrote for this game. The Mets lose it by a score of 4-3. And uh, let's get some color. At least I want to get some color coding for the hits. See how many hits. They had three home runs, the uh, Padres did against the Mets. Two by Gaston. And they only had five hits from what I can see. So uh, Jerry Kuzman did a good job. They have five hits. And the Mets started off strong offensively. They had three hits right in the first inning. Then one in the third. One in the fifth. And one in the ninth. So that was three. That was six hits for the Mets. Errors. I know that the Padres made one. That two-base error. And the Mets made none. And that's it. That's the final score. The loss will go to Kuzman. Loss will go to Kuzman. And the win goes to Kirby. Save goes to Kelly. And, um, and that's all she wrote. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. And stay tuned for the drawing for the free baseball season on Wednesday. Take care. Final score. Padres 4. And the Mets. The Mets uh, 3.